This is the day that the Lord has made, so we have every right to, be re to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Without any waste of time, Daddy, there is none like you, God. Daddy, we love you. We acknowledge you, oh God. We lift your name up high, oh God. We say Hosanna to the highest. Hosanna to the King of glory. Hosanna to Alpha and Omega. Hosanna to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Father God, you are gathered here today, O oh God, to worship you, O oh God, to magnify your holy name, O oh God, and we shall serve no foreign gods, O oh God, but you, Mujimaka. Father God, we surrender the service unto you. Holy Spirit of God, take control, take charge. Lead and we shall follow. 
Holy Spirit of God, anything that does not concern you, we refuse to be part of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray for everyone here today, myself included, oh God. Align our thoughts, oh God. Align our minds, oh God, so that we don't miss anything, Mudimaka, that you want to speak to us, Mudimaka, on this glorious day. Father God, we thank you, Mudimaka, for all those that are still coming, Mudimaka. Protect them, oh God. We plead Psalm 91 over their lives. We also pray for those, Mudimaka, that are stirring, Mudimaka. For Mudimaka, in you there is no barrier. Father God, we honor you, we magnify you, and we surrender the service unto you. In Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father Luana, you are welcome in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If this is your first time coming to visit with us, we want to love you. We want to give you a warm, shining light. Welcome. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You are welcome, sir. After Kereke, Kabi Koko Beto, or Koposka Tamaya, then you can go to the room on my right, then somebody, Utlata Ahu Minister Rela, we want to know you, pray with you, and pray for you. You'll be given a small form which does not make you a member. We just want to know you. Amen. Our announcement is here, Miana, COVID protocol, Rasai Observer, Mokereke Mbazalwana. If you are not from the same household, I'll keep a distance. But if it's a couple of you one, it's fine. We can sit together. Amen. We're encouraged to sanitize our hands, to wash our hands frequently. Amen. And if you display flu-like symptoms, please wear your mask to protect those around you. Amen. Kids ministry, it was similar like people all, like 11. Le youth ministry, it was similar like 11, correct all. Amen. Every Wednesday, it's like 6 o'clock for the WhatsApp prayer meetings. If you are not part, then they will take your details. Hallelujah. And then the small groups after church, you are encouraged to remain behind and be part of the small groups. Amen. Hallelujah. It's less than 30 minutes. You can sacrifice that. Amen. You are encouraged. That's where we grow. I get it's an like it's an informal church, if I'm allowed to use that word. Amen. Then B for T business for transformation, business training for everyone who wants to venture into business. I believe it took place yesterday. I'm speaking under correction. Then get the 13th of August, Honali Disciple Workshop from half past eight till four o'clock Saturday. There will be an opportunity to go on an outreach for practical training. Amen. Lunch will be served at no cost. But you have to sign through your small group leader for proper coordination. Group A, so many people will be attending. Amen. Hallelujah. And then, and then, Oh, May, are you ready? You must rock that duke. Hallelujah. Your conference, about me. Hallelujah. I don't feel excitement from Bom me. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, Thimiki, any outfit, but you must rock that duke. Give flick on duke. Amen. Initially, the prize in 200 randa, but you know, we serve a God of miracles. We got sponsorship for the gifts. So, you know, a month of 200 rand, it's over 150 rand. Amen. And can we start paying from now up until the end of August? We are not putting you under pressure, but it will for the organizers' time to can see how the channel is young. Amen. If you have a shortage, then they will always come back to you. We hope Jorge, there won't be any need for additional funds to be paid by Bomme. Amen. But please, Bona, diarize this date. It's very important. But I don't feel excitement from Bomme. I don't feel. The party like Bonta, the Malova, there was so much excitement. The house was on fire. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Without any waste of time, get the far mic to the music group to give us. Two to three items over to the music group. Amen. We praise your name, Almighty God. We bow.
I balance from Kukaya Matthew, chapter 14. I'm not going to read the whole of it. I just have to do three specs. One is for the Jesus of the Sophia, the news about the death of John and Asamaya. I was secluded from his disciples. But Morana Jesu, that did not stop him for a Akopanema to retreat. And because they were in a remote area, his disciples said to him, Lord, it is late. And but dismiss them are no, we cannot dismiss them. When Uritko Itlabalako eh, then he gave them to the Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to disciples, and the, the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was 5,000 men besides women and children. Amen. Mazalan, what we see here, Kikuri, Mudimarona is a God of provision. He provided in a very isolated, remote area. So nothing is above our God and nothing is impossible with our God. Amen. And Bazarana, when we give, let us give from act of faith. For Hakefa, I'm trusting for God who will do this for me. Amen. And what we're tasking, we must come to God with a right attitude. Align our thoughts. Because it is the right thing to do. Amen. And when we give, when we give, look up to heaven. And Bazalone 12 is the number of completion. We have 12 months in a year. The disciples are just in Kufa. So when you give, if I wish for Mudimo, I hold it, I hold it. For a 12 month cycle, Mudimaka, he will provide for me. Amen. When you give for this month, you will have enough for next month. That's why we must give from an attitude of faith. Amen. And we know for Mudimo, he's not a son meant to lie. His promises are yes and amen. Hallelujah. So let us trust God with our finances. Amen. But the important thing for it, we must do that with faith. We know for the currency of heaven, have faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us take our tithes and offerings with Tarakalutoka and give it a name. It's a seed. You don't just offer like a lamb. You know what you want in life. You know what you are trusting God for. We just want to say, God, thank you. Amen. I'll be able to do one, two, three, four. Hallelujah. So give it a name. When you know what is it? And the God that we serve, he will meet you at the point of need. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Dear Lydia and his children, Mudimaka, as they prepare their tithes and offerings, oh God, bless them, Mudimaka. You are a God of provision. You are a God that multiplies, oh God. Some Mudimaka, they'll be giving from a very point of nothing. But Mudimaka, Uberka Kadite Lu Mudimaka. And Mudimaka, faith moves you, Mudimaka. They'll be giving from a point of faith, Mudimaka. At this as a Vatanka Sone, Vatofanaka Sone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are bringing their tithes to Mudimaka, bless them, Mudimaka, for their obedience, Mudimaka. We don't tithe because we feel like. We don't tithe because the preacher said so. It is in the Bible, O oh God. Father God, we give you all honor and glory in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Bazalane, come forward to the Sofana and then worship team or music group, sorry. The Darfa, a song. Then immediately after we're done with a tithe and offering, Baba Rarwana and Rupaki, Danko Pale. Hallelujah. Don't sit the Rupaki bow. Mudima Hujala for the song of the Tigidimal. Uhujala for Ukotate Baba. Amen. Hallelujah.
Olha para o pai aqui, vai cantar comigo. Vai só glorificar o Senhor para mim. In the name of Jesus, I am water and the source of healing. In this hand, I have a hand to cross in Rangusa Hobonari, Bamba Situla Tamaidi, or a Hobona, Lunar Salitri. Why are you here? Barita Gai, whom to whom shall we go? To whom Linaki to John Kerry, Kunja Sika Christo. I wouldn't be here, but because of him, I can rejoice, I can jump, and I feel joy within me. I don't need any drug, I don't need any. Go like a hooky flag. Go to the Sometimes, like a rubbish, like a tour, there is a song inside of me. So it is because of him, him alone. Wait, our Mutawi Lubu P. Amen.
le modimo a o feto o hentate rona batho modimo ra feto o aka dinako tsohle empa wena o feto o modimo a ka ya lukileng o modimo e o re moneng ho ba holo ba rona ntate wa ka ya lukileng lord we have searched and searched for a god that we can save and you are an outstanding god before us modimoaka o bane le ntswela ha wa le fetu hintate lo senga ka jeno modimoaka ya lukile mina tokore nyaka loki fuma ni modimoaka o bane wena o thebe ya maphilo a rona wena modimoaka you rescue us when everything is lost ntate wa ka ya lukile we na modimo wa ka ya lukileng o modimo ya safetuing disepison tsa wona ntate lo senga ka jeno o ko be modimo ka ra maphilo a bana ba hao ntate wa ka ya lukileng lord i'm standing here just as a vessel that it could be someone else ntate wa ka ya lukileng anoint my lips this morning modimo wa ka let the meditation of my heart look upon you lord ke rapela ntate lo senga ka jeno o roko be modi monta te dipelo ntsa rona ka le bitso la grace de morena re a leboha amen and amen thank you guys you may be seated give them a round of applause please we welcome you sne eastern cape exotine You know when you went to Eastern Cape and tried to come back to Gauteng it's very difficult. Because le ka le go tlwa izimbuzi right center and left. Bana ho zwana makwana. Eh aka o bolella me go hlabetse mko o pudi a ditjeni. They might have slaughtered for him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise to be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. As I'm sitting here looking around, I ask myself, what a favor of God. To be under such an anointing. You need to tap in the spirit to understand the the ways of the spirit o hloka o kene moyeng o tlo tsebetsela tsa moya a o sheba ka mahlana ma ono bona nthu e tsala moyeng when you look at the canal eye you never see what is happening in the spirit o bona modimo ha batla u itlotlisa o tlosa dintho tse sa motlotlisa you see when god wants to glorify himself he removes things that don't glorify him and e be yena wa hlahela jwalo ka modimo and now he appears as god go re ka re wetsa show off mogwa ha go jwalo ka e ka re wa ipona ha He allows us to do things that you want to do. But at the point of time of God, God does what he wants to do. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's my prayer that this morning tap in the spirit. We want to be pumped by the praise and worship. No, that's very wrong. When we worship, we don't help anyone. We give glory unto God. So therefore, there's no one who's going to help you. For you to be in that sphere or in that space, you need to start first in your heart. In, your in other words, your service Hence we say as we pray anyone who comes through that door may he experience your presence in this place not emotions but the presence you know emotions are so good and are exciting but At the moment when you are faced with the demon forces, there's nothing that you can draw from because it was just emotions. But you need the power of the Holy Spirit in order to change your circumstances, in order to change your place, 
where you are. Now, place you are, I'm not talking about your geographical area. I'm talking about your spiritual force, where you find yourself. In. Where are you in the spirit? It's very critical. Now we thank God for 2022. That we as a church, as a Moreleta church, the church is celebrating 37 years. This church was formed or it was established 37 May. It's a July, July. 1985. It was started in the classroom at school. Up until Choose Life was built. Up until it moved to this side. Up until it moved to this side. Up until it moved to this side. It is only the grace of God that I can do It is only the grace of God that I think we can this. give the Lord a round of applause <laughs> for that. Now we are shining light. I search and search during the course of the week. Obani he strikes a document we are lacking. Obani nalani hai sang te akufati. I've heard so many stories. I was not here with the inception of shining light. Like Simona hai ni ite wa shining light. But I was told that shining light was started 19 years ago. Empa ke bolle le tu shining light te kadle di le motele shome le metu e. And it was established on the 6th of June 2003. Ka the 6th of June 2003. And guess what? The first service of it was on Friday, not on Sunday. So Shining Light started having services on a Friday, not Sunday. And by then, Muruti was the late Muruti Stephen Temeki. So now... What does this mean to us? Now? That the next day the church will be doing 20 years. And I can assure you we are going to go big. We are going to do it big. We are going to do it big. We're going to have three days of celebration. You know, they say when you have a vision, you have a job. Already in my heart and in my spirit, I'm already preparing for those three days. I'm, I can see Friday what will be happening. Saturday, I can see you know, even what I will be wearing. I'm, I see that. So now, on, on a Friday and Saturday, we are going to make it whoever he or she is to want to be in this place. I can assure you of that. What, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I know your head is working very fast. What do you see, Mama? What do you see? You need to see something already. I'm not talking a fairy tale when I say that. Where's what was saying? Oh, can I go you think? He will tell you already what I said in the car. You, you need to dream and see. So, tomorrow, fail. Now, a dream becomes just a dream when you just dream about it. But you need to dream. After dreaming, you need to leave that dream. Ah, yes. so it means as war. People should begin to dream seeing you but, working. But, when I say Lord, they should dream your dream. You, you, you are no longer dreaming it. Impulse we Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God for that next day we'll be making 20 years. Begin to invite someone ahead. Now, this month of July, we started with Muruti Khotso. And he spoke on this title that says, Shout Again. 
Now, when I, I was listening as he was preaching, there's a someone I'll do it some other time. That, uh, that says when grace suspends tradition. You see, we apply so much of traditions and we think it is the way of God. But grace is able to break any kind of culture tradition. And Mugutu Humoso came and said, talk on generational transformation. Um, he didn't touch some of the things. When in the conference, when we came up with this, we were in the conference. From 18 to 34. It's so painful. No, to not even 18. I think from 13 to that age, everything that they want to know about the next person next to them or their parents. They don't ask But they go to TikTok and Facebook. To get Critical information. I, I see a hearsay. It's happening. And they believe there is God. But they believe there's another force. Besides God. Now, what does that say to you? Let me read to you six of us sitting here four of our kids something beside they believe one two three four two four six six imagine all these kids as you are a parent imagine then and pastor Mutlong came in he said, at the right time, God shall reward you. In due time, the Lord will reward you. God will reward you. And we know the story of Haman and Mordecai. Mauritius Tolle last week and Pastor Tolle gave a profound thing that you what happens in the spiritual realm? How dangerous is it in the spiritual life? There's power on your tongue. Power of life and death. And we take it for granted all this time. I shared, uh, I took the clip and I shared it with someone. And this guy said that uh, I found myself being delivered. Just by listening to this. Time has passed. Amen. Hallelujah. Those times are passed. We need to hear what is happening in our spiritual realm. So the name that was bestowed upon your life or what has been proclaimed in your life shall not be removed by your 10%. But shall be removed by your cry unto God saying, Some of us we were supposed to be dead. Right? Some of us it was declared that we are dead. Actually. But we are still alive. And this morning, the Lord wants to speak with us. On this subject, my heart is in you. Oh, my love is in you. It's not next to you. But God's love is inside of us. So, he is God. something that can make him God. Doesn't need anything at Or to operate out of love. Because he is love. Out of love, he cannot be God. But in love. 
He is God. Our love, our peace, our joy cannot depend on any human being. But we need to understand God's love in us. So every time I think in this church, I going to read this scripture. Maybe today could be the seventh time. Probably it might be And I always say, when you hear a, a, a scripture coming and coming, it means we understand it. There is something that God wants you to understand. Because when you don't understand, there is no way you can walk in understanding. For out of understanding, you will be able to understand. How many times I use the word understand? Have you counted? Haggai 2, verse 4 to 5. Now, Mudimu Wakamulo Mamu Profeta in this. God speaks and, through the prophet. And these are people who come from all kind of hardships. And now here they find themselves in a space where they have to be responsible and accountable. You know, when you are up, when you are a slave, there are things that you don't want to let go of. Because they cut off accountability and responsibility. You know, have you ever stayed in a flat? And you move from the flat and you go to your house. To just to come in through that gate. But when you, stay, when you stay in a flat, you just go. Through. You don't bother what's happening around. As long as you have paid your rent. Now, Israel was. In slavery. But now they find themselves here they are. They have to do something. But now the Lord says, Be strong, Zerubbabel. Be strong, Joshua, son of Jehoshaphat. The high priest. Be strong. All you people still left in the land. And now get to work. For I am with you. Says the Lord of heavenly armies. My spirit remains among you. Just as I promised when you came out of Egypt. So do not be afraid. Time has come. Begin to work. Nako is a now, Mudimu who address a protocol, God is addressing the protocol that has been there. He encourages the prophet. He speaks with the high priest. And he says, all you, the nation. Hurry, be comforted and sit on your corner. But God gives an instruction and he says, begin to work. For I am with you. And why he is with us. He says, because I have given a promise. No, no, you might be not the ones that came out of Egypt. But you come from that in lineage that comes from Egypt. And therefore, I will be with you. But you need to start 
to work. And I believe this morning there's a clarion sound. Now, when they speak of a clarion sound, it's like a, a, a high pitch sound. It's the voice of. You know, wow. that high pitch sound. <laughs> You know, there's this sound when you try to do it. I, I saw an, 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 a video of a woman who said, I 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 that we need to hear. Mara, mudumo, ona asu mudumo abad. Now it's not a sound of me. Empa kile kile nzu kapa kile rata. But it's a noise. It's a sound. E umudimo iti sangara puto ya. God brings in His congregation. And everything when there's a force, ya mudimo etang. Kana kutoote hau na le matla of God that is coming. Iya ho ho la. It it comes like a flood. Ita zolo ka. Yes. Now, when flood comes, now when the flood is everything that was standing has to take another shape. Ay, you don't hear me. <laughs> so everything in the same straight. In that was stagnant. The aftermath of the flood. Something stands like this. Others they fall down. You need to catch this in the spirit. So, mudimu na le le um. Susutu manasi na manzo right. Le rata kago wa complain kapo it's a war. But in this case, it's it's not a noise that is with anger. It's not asile rata. But let's let's enter. Kiki 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 that God is saying. Now they say during ancient time, it is said na konza hard. This kind of a noise when it was made, mudumo ona how ne oetsa hard. It was only in two instances. Ono leka it was either when people were made aware to take defense or they must start to attack. Kafu batla mele batla lele ho chase. To resist or to attack. Now, now, if the time has come, that we might not make noise unto God. How do Christians make noise? By believing that they are praying. While they are making noise. If Moya O Halalelang Eliena, Hyban in the Holy Spirit is, who intercedes for us the before one, God, then we need to know how to pray. But if it is us praying, we make noise. And out of noise, we come out with anger. Then we take that anger and we want to make it God's way. Then because that anger that comes with the prayer that we do it's not going to sit on your sole of your shoe but it's going to stay on your character and therefore that closes the the covering the love of God that has covered Look at this, uh, 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 this graphic here. You see the crown. 
And therefore, you see the Bible. But you don't see the heart. That is not the heart. But there is something that makes a shade of a heart. Do you understand that? The love that God loved us so much made him to go on the cross for us. So there cannot be the crowd before persecution. And him as the son of God. He stood on our behalf. So now, when, when, when this crown of thorns is on him, it began to give a shape of love. What was something round became, became a heart. You will never tap in understanding and being able to see the shade of the crown. Because crown is not good, it's not nice. It is got thorns on it. And when you make noise unto God, you fail to realize that the dripping of the blood, it starts to write love. So it is out of that, where we begin to see the love of God. And I'm reminded of what I came across sometime. I know you also have came across that some other time. But before then, we need to get rid of familiar spirit in the church. The spirit, familiar spirit the in the church. The familiar spirit in the house of God. We need to get rid of that. And only solution is when we are able to have discernment spirit in the house. And they say there was a meeting with Satan one day. Oh, kilo abali the meeting of Satan the other day. I can I can it seems scientifically or otherwise I cannot prove it. I don't have a proof of that one, but, but I love it so much. Why get that? Why do I? Love then it? they they say they will call the uh, conversion of demons. Okay, Satan will have a meeting. Matimana kopa na kofi. Then in his opening address, Abu Mansuan. Jale ha abula tabaza hai bilesena. We can't keep Christians from going to church. Those guys, they love church big time. And we can't keep them from reading their Bibles and knowing the truth. You can't even keep them from forming an intimate relationship with their Savior. Now, Once they gain that connection in Jesus, our power over them is gone. Now, Satan, now the demons ask him, what shall we do? Then Satan, so let them go to their churches, it's okay. Let them have their covered dishes, but only warm meals every day. Like today, after church, we are going to give you cakes, muffins. We are celebrating. But still, they are tired. So why? So that they don't have time to develop a relationship with Jesus Christ. When you keep them busy, they will have a relationship with Jesus. With Jesus. But when you keep them busy, you keep them busy so that they don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. But when they are busy, they have a relationship with Jesus. 
Do you get the difference? Na wayuka papa. It is at Christ. Ke ho Christ. Where mystery of God's plan is revealed. Mo se pigri sana la nyamo di mo se seno lo ante. No. But are you sure? It is said now it is it. And the devil said to them distract them from gaining hold of their savior. Satan ba se tiso ba ska fumana e. Ba ska ba fumana Jesus. They must not find this Jesus. And maintain their vital conception throughout the day. Baske ba khona go ba kopane le Jesus. Uska ba le next. They must not need Jesus. E ka ba kopane le Jesus that in lane. Nothing even a smaller thing that might bring them to Jesus. A re ke ba tlaletse se. He said I want you to do that. Keep believers busy without being effective. Keep them basking on their past glories or successes. Keep them praying prayers that are not fervent. But prayers that are only motive-driven. And selfish. Then he went further and say, tempt them. Carry on. Keep on tempting them and tempt them. And when you tempt them, you don't, you don't just tempt them. How about, how about but keep them spending and spending and spending and spending. And as they spend their money, they will begin to borrow more and more and more. And more. You see, in Turkey, when you're into a simple, a simple lamp into it. Yeah. But do you know that if you owe me, what's about Hong Kong? You got that sum out to our master. So, Jolly. make them to spend. My it's a barrack. A barrack. And let them begin to borrow. Ali, but that's a la bakadi, Mizan. And that kind of life, do you, how about we born or it's we born again? If you want to see Bopilobo, in life that is full of prayerlessness, Bopilobos nantape. When you don't have prayer, how's nantape? You are so empty. How na late? You are empty while your bank is got a plus. How na late? To empa banka yao ehuts. We now na next. We go to lose seva we. Oh, you are empty on a little How na le to ba? Because you are there's nothing that makes you to pray. How le to le ho na o yetsa What makes you to pray is the love of God. Se tla o yetsa o rapele ke le rato la modimo. For my heart is in you. O ba le pelo ya ka e ka ha re ho wena. Now, joali. Le ntso la modimo o ba la bukeng ya ya revelation e re the first angel blew the trumpet. And the second one did the same. The third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. And the seventh angel did not blow the trumpet yet. There's a reason why the seventh angel hasn't Blown the trumpet. The bakale tiyeng ho bane le nyolo ilabo supa le soka le butu ela trumpet. Revelation ten seven. When the seventh angel blows this trumpet. Hale nyolo ilabo supa le trumpet. Now listen to this. God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. Moralo wa mu di mu o makatang o tla peta ha. Now how to start. Shale o kekebe wa e. But will be fulfilled. Empa o tla peta ha. For the truth will have reached. Ho ba ne neti itla be se ifiti. Bo se ba o len su la mu di mu le bo lela. To those to whom the word of God proclaims. Ho ri taka so ya mu di mu ko re bo. That the desire of God is that all men. Ba fi khe le evangelia na ya kreste. May reach this gospel of Jesus Christ. And the evangelia jesu kreste. And this gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the love of God. Now the Bible says this seventh angel. It will happen just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Now, God revealed this mystery unto the prophets. But now prophets have 
maybe reveal this. Why this has been revealed? So that we can stand in the mirror and decide. Are we complimenting God's love? Or are we repelling against God's love? And now he says, the seventh angel. When he blows this trumpet. It will be then now that everything has been fulfilled. There will be no way the trumpet the seventh trumpet shall be blown. Now, this trumpet or this verse reveals God's mystery every moment along Arona. That all things shall be placed on the pedestal. Mm. We will not wait until we say you go to hell or you are going to heaven. But everything shall be revealed unto God. And it depends to whom do you bow. Now, he whom you bow to is your God. That what you bow to is the one you love. Amen. Now I said this some other time. That the, 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 there are people that think that they are called. Only to find that they are working with just passion. Viversity may make you feel like you are in the will of God. Only to find you are just so effective. But when you are in the calling Yamudim, now let me correct this. Calling Yamudim, I believe, root. Pito does not mean pastoral. When you are in the Pito Yamudim, it has to always keep you broken. But the Rato Lamudim, it Keeps you broken all the time. The love of God it will be unto all broken. Come on, so among you, you don't have to 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 struggle to walk in His will. In other words, you need not to struggle. And sometimes when you walk in His will, others cannot perceive that you are walking God's will because of the passion that we have. It, Sometimes infatuation love. I guess. But then, when God's love embrace you, but when the love of God embraces you, it embraces you. When God's love embraces you, hello, Kwaela. This D. Alishi even a, 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 a slight. It doesn't even leave. Uh, and the next thing, if you want to know that you are walking in God's love, it's when it gives you peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Now, this But now the problem is this that maybe sometimes makes the seventh angel not to blow the trumpet. It's because Satan is busy keeping Christians busy. He will employ the believers to spread wickedness. And to deceive many people. I said this some other time back. Church should be a movement and not a structure. Church that is concerned only with the budget, the program, the conferences. That put emphasis on gathering. Let us meet. Let us meet. A church that gathers only. It commits suicide. Now, but Christ about the Christians whom I'm urging to today. 
the Christians of Psalms chapter 1. From verse 1 to 3. Now, it says in the message. It says in the message. And it's a direct translation. Yes. How well God How well God must like you. Now, you, know, now, you need to be a, a, a poet or oh, oh, a message. Oh. 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 Okay. How well God must like you. No, you must bring it like a poet. Yes. And say, how well now. God must like you. He likes you. You don't walk in the rats of those blind as bats. Out am I yet it's elent about but when I lead the mancha, but you look at the mancha, but but for faith in you mancha, blind as bats. You don't stand with the good for nothing. How ye me lebo utle ba ken laleto? You don't take your seat among the know it all. How do you get around to bar and bats even those? Instead, you thrill to God's way. Hey. You chew on scripture day and night. Ah, ah Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. You see, we don't give you a a ministry of talking in tongues. Because it is not the church's service to speak in the service of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I go further and say it is not even a requirement? But it is the ownership of the Holy Spirit. That he implant inside of you. When my grain in Hono Malohoko Muruta Asapila, Hono was still alive. My crane will take water and bless them and give to somebody who's sick. That's what I've learned out of here on that one. Secondly, when she speaks in tongues, she always amazed me. She didn't say a lot. She will just go like, hey, le, 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 five mission in zone 12. It's that five mission in, in zone 12. And every time when she has done that, <laughs> you know what happened? You would hear someone in the back. Translation. At all. And the lady or the man that time would come. And said, the Lord says, so says the Lord. That 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 is the love of God. Instead of you thrilled to God's weight, and begin to chew the scripture day and night. Why? Because you are a tree. Now, now listen to that way. You are a tree replanted in Eden. Eden has been taken away. Eden has been defiled. But God wants to replant you. So that you bear fruit every month. Never dropping a leaf. Always in blossom. We bear Say 
takes a small tree honka sefate se senyane to make a bobab tree ho etsa sefate se se go now this tree jwa le sefate nyana sena in order to grow ho re se tle se hole it is when the rain comes to it ke ha phula e thewa o dumasolo and this rain when it comes me phula yena ha ifi I know say the first one affair not just does it rain on it alone but this rain comes for everyone empa it ela batho bo and it is out of willingness of heart e batla modimo ke ho tsweng ha o rata hapelo e batla that it will begin to grow it ak alella ho ho this tree will begin to grow it ak alella ho ho because for it is taken from the true vine it is taken from the true valley now this tree finds itself near the stream jwale si phuma na selepela sidiba when the moment that it does less river jwale ha una less, le, less rain ha una le phula enyane it doesn't depend on the rain that will come ha it sitle phuleng etla but it draw from the stream empa si hula ho tswa metseng a ka tlas because now this comes out of attraction jwale se na se tla go hohelela the roots that are attracting this water metapo e hohela metsiana may Christ be that stream for us kreetse re be metsiana that we can draw from Christ whether situations allow or not but let there be that stream of God in us Biblia ka ho bala Genesis 1:8 as you read Genesis 1:8 it says then God remember when God sent the Noah inside the ark for more than 40 days it was like minimum But the word of God says God remember. Let the remember you today. Let the love of God remember you. Now when God remembers, it is not or it doesn't apply like in us. The word remember. In the Hebrew word it doesn't mean just something that was forgotten but it means this it means this it was still in god's mind but it draw attention that god remember that i sent out noah now that mudima has a my bad god does not just walk around looking for it but it comes to locate itself it comes into the position ya mudima and god remember and then mudima hopo and rescue him ebe o amo hopo May God send the same wind as he send on the ark that the ark has to settle on the mountain Yes Mutukhoto spoke of God of the sudden one day man of God olabuwa ka mutimu wa hang ha But can I tell you something more He's not just God of the sudden but he's God even of their destiny 
how. Is God of your destiny. When he remembers. He doesn't mean something is lost. But he brought it into his mind. He's, he's never looked for it anywhere else. And Haggai 2.5 says Haggai this. My spirit remains among you. My spirit remains among you. Now listen to this. As I have promised. Let me paraphrase it. As it came to my attention. Not in my mind. Me as God. I have kept my promises. That as we came out of Egypt. So do not be afraid. My spirit is not your portion. The spirit of fear is not your portion. The spirit of lacking direction is not your portion. Just denounce it in the name of Jesus. And speak like the psalmist. That I won't sit in the seat of the scornful. But I will stand like a tree planted by the river. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. He says it's God who keeps his promises. When we read Isaiah 6, it says, Rise up and shine. For the light of the Lord has appeared upon you. He says, the earth covers the earth and big darkness is over the people. But the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Come here, please. Now listen to this. His glory appears over you. His glory appears over you. And when his glory appears before you, guess what people see? Guess what demons see? <laughs> Power of the glory of God. And that is why as we arrive, we say in the name of Jesus. We don't fight with you. We just say in the name of Jesus. You devil and your demons. Go and find your place. We are in the third time as the church. We are at a time where we cannot even see the demons. We are in the time where we allow demons to dictate what must happen. People like Bible says when Jesus arrived, he who had demons never saw him. When he saw him, he said, it's not yet the time for us to leave here. Oh, it cannot take a demon to see Jesus. And we as a church of God, we fail to see the demon. It is in the love of Jesus where we can see as the Lord says rise and shine for your glory has come. When David says in Psalm 37, I was once young and now I'm he old. He says, Yet never have I seen the righteous the righteous ah. I have never seen the righteous being abandoned by the Lord. I have never seen the righteous yeah, be abandoned by the Allah Lord. I have never ha seen those who trust God ha forsaken by God rise and shine e for your light has come. Verse 21 says this words. It says your sons and your daughters will inherit the earth forever. Isaiah. 
As he carries on, he says, Your sons and your daughters shall come be carried. Your sons and your daughters. He says they will come from far. He says the kings and the kingdoms will come to your glory. Not on your own glory, but that glory that appears among you, that draws kings and queens to come and bow to your glory. It is only when it's God who's doing that. Let's stand on our feet. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. in my spirit there's no one that needs to be laid hands on. but I hear the spirit of the Lord saying to me anyone who says Lord I want to experience this love out of abundance Come just and bow on this altar. Don't just bow to Murud. Come and bow here. And pour your heart unto the Lord. As the worship comes, come. come and bow on this floor. And tell me to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus.